Welcome, seekers of greatness. Today we embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation fueled by the power of habits. These habits have the potential to propel you beyond the limits of your imagination. In a world brimming with possibilities, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by the vastness of our dreams and aspirations. But what if I told you that there are specific habits you can cultivate to not only reach, but surpass your wildest dreams? Imagine a life where every action you take, every decision you make, leads you closer to your most audacious goals. A life where success is not just a distant dream, but a tangible reality that exceeds even your own expectations. That, my friends, is the promise of the habits we'll explore today. From the moment you wake up to the final moments before you drift off to sleep, these habits will serve as your guiding lights, illuminating the path to greatness. They will empower you to break free from the shackles of mediocrity, and embrace the extraordinary potential that lies within you. As we journey together, I invite you to open your mind and heart to the infinite possibilities that await. Let go of any doubts or limitations that have held you back in the past, and dare to imagine a future where success knows no bounds. So, are you ready to embark on this transformative journey? Are you ready to discover the habits that will take you beyond what you ever imagined possible? If so, Let's dive in and unlock the secrets to a life of unparalleled success, fulfillment, and joy. Now let's shift our focus to a speech by Brian Tracy that will change your life. Relax, take notes, and watch this entire video so you don't miss anything that could have a big impact on your life. In life, you decide to be responsible or irresponsible. Being irresponsible is for the top 10% of people. These are leaders, and you can be a leader without followers, without a team. A leader is a person who behaves like a leader, who assumes total responsibility. The more responsibility you accept, the more control you have. Not just physical and financial control, but emotional control. The more control you have, the greater freedom you have. If you were to ask people why they want to start their own business, why they want a lot of money, if you ask them again and again, the final question they will always give you is to be free. We all want to be free. No human being has ever said, I have too much freedom, please take it away. There are politicians who believe that voting members of the public have too much freedom and believe they have been elected to take away that freedom through taxes and regulations. But there is never a person who says, I have too much freedom, please tax my income, please regulate and limit my behavior so that I do things you believe are good for me. Nobody would ever say that. So the more responsibility you accept, the more control you have, and the more freedom you have. The more positive emotions you have, there is a direct one-to-one -one link between responsibility and control, freedom, and positive emotions. At the lower end of the spectrum, irresponsibility leads to a lack of control, feeling out of control, a lack of freedom, feeling controlled by other people, and negative emotions. Now let's talk about negative emotions. The only thing standing between you and a fabulous life are negative emotions fear, and negative emotions. If you don't have negative emotions, since nature abhors a vacuum, what will your mind be filled with? It will be filled with positive emotions, love, happiness, joy, and exhilaration. The key is to eliminate negative emotions, which is the key to unlocking the power of your subconscious and superconscious mind. So, how do we do it? We starve the roots to death. There are two essential factors that maintain negative emotions justification and identification justification is when you say i'm entitled to this negative emotion because of what this person did said or told me identification is taking things personally if you can't take things personally you can't attach any negativity to them so stop justifying and creating reasons why you're entitled to negative emotions and stop identifying with your negative emotions become non-judgmental and disidentify Bonding is non-bonding. Don't emotionally engage in anything, as emotional engagement shuts off your higher creative mental powers. The measure of how successful you are as a person is how calm you can remain when there's turbulence in the world around you. So, stay calm, detach, get the facts, and don't get involved. Cut the trunk of the tree of negative emotions, which is blame. Blame is at the root of 99% of negative emotions. If we remove blame, we cut the tree, and all negative emotions stop. Replace the thought of blame with the affirmation, I am responsible. 
It is impossible to be negative and accept responsibility at the same time. So say, I am responsible, and think of all the reasons why you are responsible in any negative situation. As you do that, negativity begins to disappear, and you stop being negative about the situation or the other person. As we come to the end of our journey, let us reflect on the profound impact of the habits and insights we've explored today. Armed with the knowledge and wisdom gained, we stand ready to seize the opportunities that await us. Let us carry with us the unwavering belief that we are capable of achieving greatness. May these habits continue to guide us towards a future filled with success, fulfillment, and joy. Our journey does not end here. It is merely the beginning of a new chapter filled with endless possibilities. As we part ways, I urge you to continue cultivating these habits with diligence and determination. Let them serve as beacons of light, guiding you towards your dreams with unwavering certainty. Thank you for joining me on this extraordinary journey. May your path be filled with abundance, joy, and endless success as you pursue your dreams with passion and purpose. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today I want to take you on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. A journey that has the power to open your most fulfilled perspective and propel you towards becoming the most powerful version of yourself. In a world filled with endless distractions and demands, it's easy to lose sight of our true potential. We often find ourselves caught up in the whirlwind of daily life, neglecting the incredible power that lies within us. But what if I told you that deep within each and every one of us lies a reservoir of untapped strength, resilience and greatness waiting to be unleashed? That's right. The key to unlocking your true power lies not in external circumstances or validation from others, but in harnessing the power of your own mind and spirit. It's about raising the habits, mindset, and beliefs that empower you to rise above challenges, seize opportunities, and create the life you desire. So, as we embark on this excursion together today, I invite you to open your mind and your heart to the possibility of becoming the most powerful version of yourself. Embrace the journey of self-discovery, commit to personal growth, and watch as you unfold into the magnificent being you were always meant to be. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of personal power. Now let's start discovering the strategies and principles that will guide us towards releasing our full potential and becoming the most powerful versions of ourselves. You need the courage to continuously move towards your biggest goals and ambitions. You need to be willing to embrace discomfort to grow. You need the courage to leap with faith, without guarantees of success. Brave people are those who have a dream and set a goal, make a plan, and take the first step without ensuring or guaranteeing that their efforts will result in success. However, if you see each step forward as a learning experience and each setback as a valuable lesson that makes you stronger and better, you will not be afraid to leap with faith into the unknown. You need the courage to risk failure, to endure constant setbacks, disappointments, and temporary defeats. You need to learn to deal with failure by realizing that it is an indispensable requirement for success. You cannot succeed without failing, and failing many times. Remember the wonderful quote from Thomas W. Watson, Sr., the founder of IBM, who said that if you want to succeed faster, you must double your rate of failure. He said that success lies on the other side of failure. You need the courage to treat failure as an opportunity to start smarter, overcoming the fear of failure by doing the things you fear over and over again, until the fear disappears, and then resolving to bounce back instead of breaking when things don't go as expected. You need the courage to continuously confront danger, to face the things you fear. Identify all the fear-inducing situations in your life that cause you stress or anxiety. Today, decide what could be the worst possible outcome of each of these situations, and resolve to accept the worst if it happens, and then take action to resolve each of these situations, refusing to let a situation of fear linger in your life, dominating your thoughts and emotions and holding you back. Requires the courage to be willing to make mistakes and learn from them. While top performers constantly make decisions, make mistakes, learn from them, get up, correct themselves, and continue. Therefore, successful people are not necessarily those who make the right decisions all the time, but by persevering, they make their decisions right. If they make a mistake, they accept it, learn as much as possible, and move on. By failing and making mistakes, you become smarter and are more likely to eventually achieve your goals. You also need the courage to accept complete responsibility for your life, which means taking ownership of the outcomes. You need courage to refuse to make excuses or defend yourself. You need courage to say over and over again, 
I am responsible. And refuse to blame anyone else when something goes wrong. You focus on the solution rather than the problem or the person. You ask, what do we do from here? What is the next step? What is the solution? What action should we take? Then you get up and move forward, extracting lessons from the situation and discarding the superfluous, the things you cannot change. The last courage you need is the courage to persist. More than anyone else, persistence is the quality that will ultimately guarantee your success. Your willingness to persist through every adversity can be your greatest asset. The ability to persist is the main quality for success in all areas of life. It can be the factor that ensures your success in the end. If you refuse to give up, you must eventually succeed. As in baseball, you will never hit a home run unless you keep swinging. In 30 years of studying successful people, I have discovered one fact time and time again. No one was defeated until they accepted defeat as a reality. No one can defeat you except yourself. Decide what you really want in life, financial independence, and then decide that you will persist until you succeed. You will never give up until you achieve it. Make the decision, close the door behind you, and decide that you will never give up. Failure is not an option. So, overcome procrastination with a very simple method that was developed by W. Clement Stone, who was young and built a fortune of $500 million. This is one of the central principles of his life. Simply, every morning when you wake up, repeat to yourself over and over again, do it now, do it now, do it now. When you have the tendency to procrastinate, program your subconscious mind with this automatic conditioned command, do it now, do it now, do it now. The key to overcoming procrastination is to develop a sense of urgency. Be the type of person who gets things done quickly. One way to do this is to break down the task, what's called slicing the salami. Take the task and divide it into small parts, and then do one piece at a time. Say over and over again, do it now, do it now, do it now. Did you know that less than 2% of the population has a sense of urgency? And there's no example of a successful person anywhere who doesn't have a sense of urgency. If you only develop a sense of urgency, that alone will propel you to the top ranks in a very short period of time. In a study conducted among 104 CEOs two years ago, they were asked what qualities would put a person on the fast track in their career. Do you know what the conclusion was? Two qualities. The ability to prioritize, choosing relevant over irrelevant, and the ability to finish work quickly. If all you do is prioritize and finish work quickly, that alone will set you apart from 80 to 90% of the people you work with. Delegate everything you can. What does delegating mean? Delegating is very simple. It means that whatever your hourly rate is, let's say your goal is to earn $50,000 a year. If you work 8 hours a day, that's $125 per hour. So, you are a $125 per hour person. The only way to earn $125 per hour is if you do $125 or more worth of work. And the only way to do $125 per hour work or more is if you take anything that anyone earning less than you per hour can do, 120, 110, 105 hours and so on, and delegate it. The general conclusion is that if you can't delegate, if you can't have other people do lower priority things for you, you can't grow, you can't develop, you can't succeed. Delegation requires a keyword, clarity. The reason people don't delegate is that they have delegated and other people have failed. But the main reason people don't carry out the task you've given them is due to lack of clarity. So when you delegate, here are the keys. First of all, think carefully about what you want done and write it down. Secondly, use the right person to do it. Don't give an important task to an incapable person. Thirdly, Make crystal clear what you want done and when you want it done. And fourthly, check. Review, inspect, stay on top of it to make sure it gets done on time. Never assume that something will be done on time. I read something years ago on a big billboard that said, Assumption is the root of all errors. Never assume that someone or something will be done on time unless you verify it yourself. Step out of your comfort zone. Courage, my friends lies in stepping boldly into your discomfort zone. That realm where you feel awkward, uncertain, and at times, utterly alone. The comfort zone, I tell you, is the arch enemy of human potential. It lulls us into complacency, coaxing us to remain stagnant even when we're dissatisfied with our circumstances. 
But let me ask you this. Is mediocrity truly what you seek? Is a life of average performance what you aspire to? No, I say. Set your sights higher. Have a dream of greatness and excellence in every aspect of your life. Identify your goals, chart your course, and commit to mastering each crucial skill along the way. You see, my friends, you may be just one skill away from unlocking the door to unparalleled success in your career. Now here's a question that has the power to transform your trajectory. What skill, if honed to excellence, would have the greatest positive impact on my career? Consider this question deeply, my friends. Search within your soul, for the answer lies within you. Guidance from mentors, peers, and loved ones, for their insights may illuminate your path. Once you've identified that pivotal skill, my friends, devote yourself wholeheartedly to its mastery. Remember, as the old saying goes, inch by inch, anything is possible. Break down daunting tasks into manageable steps and take action one step at a time. Confucius wisely reminds us, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So, my friends, dumb in your courage. Embrace discomfort and take that first step towards greatness. The road ahead may be challenging, but with persistence, determination, and dedicated focus, you will rise above adversity and claim the success you deserve. Go forth, my friends, and dare to be great. Your destiny awaits. This is a great strategy for overcoming procrastination and getting more done faster. You can achieve the biggest task of your life by disciplining yourself to take only one step at a time. Your job is to go as far as you can see. Then you will see enough to go further and accomplish a great task. You must take the step with faith and have complete confidence that your next step will soon become clear to you. Remember the wonderful advice, leap, and the net will appear. A great life or a great career is built by doing one task at a time, quickly and well, and then moving on to the next task. Financial independence is achieved by saving a little money each month, year after year. Health and fitness are achieved simply by eating a little less, and exercising a little more every day and month after month. You can overcome procrastination and achieve extraordinary things simply by taking the first step, starting towards your goal, and then moving forward, step by step. Now here's how you can put this idea into action. Select any goal, task, or project in your life where you've been procrastinating and simply take a step towards its completion right away. Sometimes all you need to do to start is to sit down and make a list of all the steps you'll need to take to eventually complete the task. Then just start and complete one item on the list, and then another, and so on. You'll be surprised at what you'll eventually achieve. One of the best ways to overcome procrastination and get more done faster is to have everything you need at hand before you begin. When you're fully prepared, you're like a loaded weapon or an archer with an arrow ready to be shot. You just need a little mental push to start your most valuable tasks. Start by clearing your desk or workspace so that you only have one task in front of you. If necessary, put everything on the floor or on the table behind you. Gather all the information, reports, details, papers, and work materials you'll need to complete the job. Have them at hand so you can reach them without getting up or moving around much. Set up your workspace to be comfortable, appealing, and conducive to working for long periods. Make sure especially that you have a comfortable chair that supports your back and allows your feet to rest flat on the floor. The most productive people take the time to create a workspace where they enjoy spending time. The cleaner and neater your workspace is before you start, the easier it will be for you to begin and move forward. When you feel ready to start, assume the body language of high performance. Sit up straight, lean forward from the back of the chair, and act as if you're an efficient, effective, high-performance personality. Then take the first item and tell yourself, let's get to work and dive in. And once you've started, keep going until the job is finished. Start today to plan each day, week, and month in advance. Take a notebook, a sheet of paper, or use your smartphone and make a list of everything you need to do in the next 24 hours. Add to your list as new items come up. Make a list of all your projects, the big multitasking jobs that are important for your future. Then, organize all your main goals, projects, and tasks by priority, determining what is most important and in what sequence it should be done. What comes first? What comes next? And so on. Start with the end in mind and work backward. Think on paper and always work from a list. You'll be surprised at how much more productive you become and how much easier it is. Apply the 80-20 rule to everything. We always have enough time if we use it correctly. The 80-20 rule 
also called the Pareto Principle, in honor of the Italian economist Vilfredo Pareto, is one of the most useful concepts in time management and life. Pareto noticed that people in his society seemed to naturally divide into what he called the vital few, the top 20% in terms of money and influence, and the trivial many, the bottom 80%. Later he found that virtually all economic activity was subject to this principle. For example, this principle says that 20% of your activities will account for 80% of your results. 20% of your clients will account for 80% of your sales. 20% of your products or services will account for 80% of your profits. 20% of your tasks will account for 80% of the value of what you do, and so on. This means that if you have a list of 10 things to do, two of those things will turn out to be worth much more than the other eight put together. Each of the 10 tasks may take the same amount of time to complete, but one or two of those tasks will contribute five or 10 times the value of any other. Often, a single task may be worth more than the other nine combined. This task is invariably the one you should do first. You can guess which items the average person is most likely to procrastinate on. The sad reality is that most people procrastinate on the top 10 or 20% of items, which are the most valuable and important, the vital few. Instead, they busy themselves with the less important 80%, the trivial many, which contribute very little to results. They focus on activities, not achievements. Often you see people who seem to be busy all day but seem to achieve very little. This is almost always because they're busy working on low-value tasks while procrastinating on one or two activities that, if completed quickly and well, could make a real difference to their companies and their careers. The most valuable tasks you can do each day are usually the most difficult and complex. But the reward for completing these tasks efficiently can be tremendous. For this reason, you must firmly refuse to work on tasks from the bottom 80% while you still have tasks from the top 20% to do. Before starting work, always ask yourself, is this task in the top 20% of my activities, or the bottom 80%? Resist the temptation to tackle small things first. Remember that what you choose to do over and over again, eventually becomes a habit that's hard to break. If you choose to start your day working on low-value tasks, you'll soon develop the habit of always starting and working on low-value tasks. This is not the kind of habit you want to develop or maintain. Low-value tasks are like rabbits. They multiply continuously, and you never catch up. The hardest part of any important task is starting in the first place. Once you really start working on a valuable task, you'll naturally be motivated to continue. A part of your mind loves being busy working on meaningful tasks that can really make a difference. Your job is to continually feed this part of your mind, motivate yourself, just thinking about starting and finishing an important task motivates you and helps you overcome inaction. The fact is that the time required to complete an important job is often the same as the time required to do an unimportant job. The difference is that you get a tremendous sense of pride and satisfaction from completing something valuable and meaningful. However, when you complete a low-value task using the same amount of time and energy, you get little or no satisfaction. Time management is really life management. Personal management is really about taking control of the sequence of events. Time management is about taking control over what you will do next, and you are always free to choose the task you will do next. Your ability to choose between what is important and what is not important is the key determinant of your success in life and work. If effective and productive people discipline themselves to start with the most important task they have in front of them, they force themselves to do things. Whatever the result, they achieve much more than the average person, and they are much happier. This should be your method of work too. Use the ABCDE method continuously. The first law of success is concentration, directing all energies to a point, and moving directly to that point without looking left or right. William Matthews The more time you spend planning and prioritizing before you start, the more important things you will do and the faster you will accomplish them. Once you start, the more important and valuable a task is to you, the more likely you are to be motivated to overcome procrastination and dive into the task. The ABCDE method is a powerful prioritization technique that you can use every day. This technique is so simple and effective that it alone can make you one of the most efficient people in your field. The strength of this technique lies in its simplicity. Here's how it works. You start with a list of everything you have to do for the next day. Then you place an A, B, C, D, or E next to each item on your list. Before starting the first task, 
An A task is defined as something very important. Something you must do. This is a task that will have serious positive or negative consequences if you do it or if you don't. If you have more than one A task, prioritize these tasks by writing A1, A2, A3, and so on in front of each item. Your A1 task is your biggest, ugliest task of all. A B task is defined as a task you should do, but that has only mild consequences. This means that someone may be unhappy or inconvenienced if you don't do one of these tasks. But it's not as important as an A task. The rule is that you should never do a B task when an A task remains undone. A C task is defined as something that would be nice to do, but for which there are no consequences at all, whether you do it or not. These tasks have no effect on your work life. A D task is defined as something you can delegate to someone else. The rule is that you should delegate anything that someone else can do to free up more time for the A tasks that only you can do. An E task is defined as something you can eliminate completely, and that will make no real difference. This may be a task that was important at some point, but is no longer relevant to you or anyone else. It's often something you continue to do out of habit, or because you like it. But every minute you spend on an e-task is time taken away from a task or activity that can really make a difference in your life. After applying the ABCDE method to your list, you'll be completely organized and ready to do important things faster. Take action immediately. The key to making this ABCDE method work is to discipline yourself to start immediately with your A1 task and then continue until it's complete. Use your willpower to start and continue with this work. The most important task you could be doing. As we conclude our exploration today, I want to leave you with a powerful reminder. The journey to becoming the most powerful version of yourself is not a destination, but a lifelong pursuit. It's about committing to continuous growth, seeing challenges as opportunities for learning, and never settling for anything less than your full potential. So my friends, as you go forth from here today, I challenge you to embrace discomfort, summon your courage, and take bold action towards your most cherished goals. Remember, greatness lies not in the absence of fear, but in the willingness to face it head-on and emerge stronger on the other side. With persistence, determination, and a relentless focus on growth, there's no limit to what you can achieve. The power to transform your life lies within you. It's time to unleash it. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Now go forth and conquer your dreams. The investment of a mere 30 minutes can unravel the secrets to a lifetime of success. Imagine just half an hour, the same duration as a short commute or a lunch break. Yet it holds the power to redefine the next 20 years of your life. Today we're not just talking about time. We're delving into its essence and how it can be the architect of our destinies. Let's consider for a moment what is 30 minutes in the grand scheme of life. It's a tiny fraction, almost negligible. Yet it's astonishing how these small increments, these seemingly insignificant moments, can accumulate into monumental change. It's like a drop of water in a cavern, patiently and persistently dripping. Over time, these drops form magnificent stalactites and stalagmites, creating a wonder to behold. Similarly, how we choose to use our 30 minutes consistently can sculpt the landscape of our lives. This concept is not just about time management, but rather about life management. It's about understanding that within each ticking second lies an opportunity, a choice. Will we let these moments slip like sand through our fingers, or will we seize them with intention and purpose? This is where our journey begins. In the next moments together, we'll explore how harnessing the power of these 30-minute blocks can lead to exponential growth and achievement. We'll dive into strategies that have not only stood the test of time, but have been the cornerstone of success for many of the world's most accomplished individuals. From setting clear actionable goals to developing a blueprint for success, each step is a piece of the puzzle in crafting the life you desire. So, as we embark on this exploration, I invite you to open your minds and hearts, reflect on your aspirations, your dreams, and consider how just 30 minutes a day could be the key to unlocking them. As we journey through this discourse, remember, this isn't just about learning new concepts, it's about transforming the way we perceive time and our ability to mold it to our advantage. Let's begin this transformative journey, understanding that the next 30 minutes are not just a window of time, but a gateway to a future brimming with possibilities. A future where you are the master of your time, the architect of your destiny, and the author of your success story. Time, our most inexhaustible resource yet perpetually fleeting. Unlike money, once spent, 
it can never be earned back. This fundamental truth brings us to a critical realization. The mastery of time is not just a skill, it's an art. An art that, when perfected, can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. Let's delve into the essence of time as our most precious resource. Imagine it as a currency, the currency of life. Every morning, you're credited with 86,400 seconds. Every night, this account resets with no balance carried over. The question then becomes, how will you spend this daily endowment? Will you invest it in pursuits that enrich your life, or let it slip away into the abyss of the unremarkable? The stories of those who have mastered time are both enlightening and inspiring. Take, for instance, a renowned author who penned his first bestseller while commuting to his day job. In the span of his 30-minute train journey each day, he harnessed his time to craft narratives that would eventually captivate the world. Or consider the entrepreneur who, in the early hours of the morning, laid the groundwork for a business empire that would forever change the technological landscape. These individuals understood that time, when wielded with precision and purpose, becomes a powerful ally in the pursuit of greatness. Understanding time as an investment, however, requires a paradigm shift. It's about seeing every hour, every minute as an opportunity to build towards a desired future. It's about making conscious choices, whether it's pursuing knowledge, nurturing relationships, or cultivating a skill. Every decision, every action, is an investment in the future you aspire to create. Moreover, time invested in planning and preparation is never wasted. The meticulous crafting of a day, a week, a month, and beyond, lays the foundation for success. This strategic allocation of time ensures that efforts are not just sporadic bursts of activity, but focused, purpose-driven endeavors. The life and career time invested in continuous learning and personal development pays the highest dividends. The ever-evolving landscape of the modern world demands that we remain students for life. Investing time in acquiring new skills, absorbing new knowledge, and staying abreast of emerging trends is not optional. It's essential. It is this commitment to lifelong learning that sets apart the extraordinary from the ordinary. As we reflect on the value of time, let's also consider its role in shaping our legacy. How we choose to spend our time not only defines our present, but echoes into the future. The time spent nurturing relationships, building communities, and contributing to a cause greater than ourselves, leaves an indelible mark on the tapestry of humanity. In our exploration of time, we've recognized its immense value. Now let's pivot to a crucial application of this. Goal setting and clarity. The act of setting goals is akin to charting a course on a vast ocean. Without them, we are merely adrift, subject to the whims of the wind and tides. With clear, precise goals, every action becomes purposeful. Every minute an intentional step towards a defined destination. Goals are not just wishes. They are beacons guiding us through the fog of daily distractions and challenges. They provide focus, shape our decisions, and dictate how we allocate our most precious resource, time. Consider the story of a young entrepreneur starting with nothing but a vision. She had a clear, precise goal to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. Every decision she made, from her team selections to her marketing strategies, was shaped by this overarching objective. Her clarity of purpose made every choice straightforward, her path unambiguous. Today, her company stands as a testament to the power of goal clarity, a giant in an industry that once didn't even recognize her potential. Or take the example of an athlete whose dream was to win an Olympic gold medal. Every morning, as he trained, his goal was crystal clear in his mind. It dictated his diet, his sleep schedule, his training regimen. When faced with temptations or distractions, his goal was the anchor keeping him steadfast. The day he stood on the podium, gold medal in hand, it was not just a victory of physical prowess, but of unwavering clarity of purpose. Setting goals, however, is just the beginning. Achieving them requires persistence, discipline, and resilience. It demands that we stretch beyond our comfort zones, challenge our limits, and confront our deepest fears. But the clarity that comes with well-defined goals makes this arduous journey manageable, even enjoyable. Each step forward, no matter how small, becomes a victory, a reinforcement of our ability to shape our destiny. As we delve into goal setting, remember, it's not about setting any goal. It's about setting the right goals. Goals that resonate with your deepest values and aspirations. 
Goals that challenge you yet are attainable with effort and determination. Goals that are specific, measurable, actionable, relevant, and time-bound. In our quest for success, let's also embrace the reality that goals evolve. Life is dynamic, and our goals should be flexible enough to adapt to changing circumstances. Yet, the core vision remains steadfast, a lighthouse guiding us through life's tumultuous seas. As we transition from this discussion on goal setting and clarity, let us carry with us the understanding that clear goals are the foundation upon which we build our dreams. They are the compasses guiding our decisions, the maps charting our life's journey. With this understanding we move forward, ready to explore the art of planning, the blueprint that turns our goals from visions into reality. Having established the paramount importance of goal setting and clarity, we now turn to a vital component in the journey to achievement. Strategic planning. It's one thing to set a goal. It's another to chart a course for reaching it. This step is where many dreams falter, not for lack of ambition, but for lack of a plan. Strategic planning is not just a necessity. It's the bridge that connects your goals to reality. It's the process of taking a vision and breaking it down into actionable steps. Without this critical process, goals remain distant, like stars in the night sky, beautiful to behold but seemingly unreachable. So, how do we break down this planning process? Imagine building a house. You wouldn't start by randomly placing bricks. You'd begin with a blueprint detailing every room, every corner, every foundation. Strategic planning is your blueprint for success. It starts with defining clear objectives, understanding resources, identifying potential obstacles, and then meticulously mapping out each step towards your goal. Consider a successful business leader known for turning a small enterprise into a global phenomenon. This transformation didn't happen by chance. It was the result of strategic planning, understanding market trends, recognizing customer needs, innovating products, and carefully plotting growth. Every move was calculated, like a chess master anticipating the outcome many moves ahead. Or think about a renowned scientist whose groundbreaking discovery changed the course of medical history. That discovery was not a sudden stroke of genius. It was the culmination of years of strategic planning, meticulous research, experiments, analysis, and most importantly, the perseverance to stay the course despite numerous setbacks. In various fields, be it sports, arts, entrepreneurship, or science, the story is the same. The common thread that weaves through the tapestry of success is strategic planning. It's about foreseeing challenges and preparing to overcome them. It's about understanding that the path to success is rarely a straight line. It's a winding road filled with detours and roadblocks. Strategic planning equips you to navigate this road with confidence. Let's also address a common misconception. Strategic planning is not a one-time task, but an ongoing process. It demands adaptability, a willingness to modify plans as circumstances evolve. The most successful plans are those that are revisited, revised, and refined continually. As we transition from the concept of strategic planning, let us hold on to the idea that a well-crafted plan is a living, breathing entity. It evolves as you evolve, grows as you grow, and adapts as you adapt. With a solid plan in hand, you are no longer at the mercy of circumstances. You become the master of your destiny. Let this understanding guide us as we move into our next discussion on discipline and consistency, the pillars that sustain your journey towards achieving your grandest goals. Moving forward in our journey, we reach the pillars of discipline and consistency. These elements are not just part of the success equation. They are the bedrock upon which all achievement rests. Discipline is the inner strength that drives us to get up each morning and pursue our goals, while consistency is the steadfast commitment to maintain that effort day after day. Self-discipline, in its essence, is the ability to do what needs to be done even when you don't feel like doing it. It's the inner fortitude that pushes you to continue when every fiber of your being wants to give up. It's the voice that whispers, keep going, when the rest of the world shouts, give up. This inner strength is crucial because the path to any significant achievement is often littered with obstacles and setbacks. Without self-discipline, these obstacles can become insurmountable. Consider the story of an athlete training for the Olympics. Every day she rises before dawn, hitting the track when the world is still asleep. Rain or shine, she's there, pushing her body to its limits. This relentless pursuit of excellence is fueled by discipline. It's not mere physical strength or talent that propels her to the finish line. 
It's the unwavering discipline to adhere to her rigorous training schedule day in and day out. Persistence, the sister of discipline, plays an equally critical role. It's the quality that enables us to keep going when progress seems slow, when our efforts seem to bear no fruit. Persistence is what keeps us anchored to our goals when the temptation to abandon them is at its peak. It's the resilience to face rejection, failure and criticism, yet continue to move forward. Take for example a writer whose manuscript faces rejection after rejection from publishers. Each rejection is a blow to his aspirations, yet he persists. He revises his manuscript, hones his craft, and continues submitting. Eventually, his persistence pays off, not only in the form of a publishing deal, but in the accolade of bestseller status. It's a testament to the power of not giving up on one's dreams. The triumph of discipline and consistency is evident in numerous success stories across various fields. From the entrepreneur who spends years building a business from the ground up to the scientist whose relentless pursuit of a hypothesis leads to groundbreaking discoveries, the pattern is unmistakable. These achievements are not the result of sporadic bursts of effort but of sustained discipline and consistency. In our own lives, embracing discipline and consistency means setting our sights on our goals and relentlessly pursuing them. It means establishing routines that align with our objectives and adhering to them even when distractions abound. It's about making conscious choices every day that bring us closer to our dreams. As we navigate through the realms of discipline and consistency, we arrive at a critical juncture in our journey, continuous learning and adaptation. In a world that is constantly evolving, the willingness to learn and adapt is not just beneficial. It is essential for personal growth and lasting success. The importance of lifelong learning cannot be overstressed. It is the fuel that keeps the engine of the mind running at optimum capacity. Learning is not confined to the walls of a classroom. It is a lifelong endeavor, an ongoing journey of personal and professional development. It is about keeping your mind sharp, your skills relevant, and your insights deep. Consider the story of a renowned scientist who spent decades studying a particular field. Despite his expertise, he never stopped being a student. He kept abreast of the latest research, continuously challenged his own theories, and remained open to new ideas. This unquenchable thirst for knowledge not only kept him at the forefront of his field, but also led to breakthrough discoveries that changed the way we understand our world. Embracing change and adapting to new challenges is equally critical. The only constant in life is change, and our ability to adapt to it determines our success. Adaptability is about flexibility, resilience, and the will to view change not as a threat, but as an opportunity for growth. Take, for instance, the story of a business leader who navigated her company through the tumultuous waters of economic downturns and evolving market trends. Her ability to adapt to changing circumstances, to pivot strategies, to innovate solutions was key to not just surviving, but thriving in a competitive landscape. Her story exemplifies the power of adaptability in achieving long-term success. Another compelling example of adaptability leading to success is evident in the realm of technology. Consider the tech giants who started as small startups. Their journey to the pinnacle of success was marked by continuous adaptation, adapting to technological advancements, consumer preferences, and market dynamics. Their success is a testament to the power of being agile and responsive to change. As we embrace the importance of continuous learning and adaptation, let us remember that these are not just strategies for success. They are essential life skills. They enable us to navigate the complexities of our modern world, to stay relevant in our professions, and to lead richer, more fulfilling lives. Having embraced the value of continuous learning and adaptation, we now pivot to a skill integral to harnessing these attributes, effective time management. Mastering this skill is crucial in balancing our professional commitments with personal growth and well-being. Let's delve into practical techniques and real-life examples that embody the essence of managing time efficiently. Firstly, the cornerstone of effective time management is prioritization. Every day, we are bombarded with tasks, emails, calls, and meetings. The key is to distinguish between what is urgent and what is important. Urgent tasks demand immediate attention, but may not significantly impact our long-term goals. The important tasks, however, are those that align with our long-term objectives. They require more focus and commitment, but are essential for our growth and success. The art of time management lies in balancing these tasks, giving precedence to what advances our goals while addressing urgent matters effectively. 
One practical technique in prioritizing tasks is the Eisenhower box, a simple yet powerful tool. It divides tasks into four categories, urgent and important, important but not urgent, urgent but not important, and neither urgent nor important. This method helps in organizing tasks in a way that ensures that time is spent wisely on what truly matters. Another essential aspect of time management is setting boundaries. It's about saying no to non-essential tasks and distractions. It requires the discipline to decline invitations or requests that do not contribute to our objectives. Setting boundaries is crucial in safeguarding our time for high-priority tasks and for self-care. Let's consider a real-life example of exceptional time management. Think about a top executive of a global company. Her day is a whirlwind of meetings, decisions, and responsibilities. Yet she manages to allocate time for strategic planning, team development, and personal growth. Her secret? A meticulously structured schedule, clear priorities, and an unyielding commitment to her personal time. She understands that to lead effectively, she must manage her time with precision and purpose. Another example is a renowned author who balances writing best-selling novels with a demanding speaking schedule. His strategy, strict adherence to a daily routine. He dedicates specific hours to writing, untouched by other commitments. This disciplined time management not only ensures productivity, but also fosters creativity. In balancing professional commitments and personal growth, time management is not just about work. It's about allocating time for self-care, family, and hobbies. It's about understanding that personal well-being is paramount, and neglecting it can lead to burnout and decreased productivity. Effective time management allows us to excel in our professional lives while enjoying a fulfilling personal life. Having mastered the art of time management, we now turn our focus to the cultivation and power of positive habits. This crucial aspect intertwines with all we have discussed, acting as the catalyst in transforming our disciplined efforts and managed time into tangible results and personal growth. The significance of positive habits in our lives cannot be understated. Habits are the threads that weave the fabric of our daily lives. They are the autopilot driving our actions, often subconsciously. The power of a habit lies in its ability to turn our aspirations into automatic actions. When we cultivate positive habits, we set ourselves on a path of continuous improvement and success almost effortlessly. Let's explore the process of habit formation. It begins with a conscious decision and action repeated consistently until it becomes second nature. This process is not instantaneous. It requires commitment and persistence. However, once a positive habit is ingrained, it becomes a part of who we are, guiding us towards our goals with minimal conscious effort. Consider the example of a successful entrepreneur. His morning routine, a carefully curated set of habits, sets the tone for his day. Meditation for mental clarity, exercise for physical vitality, and reading for continuous learning. These habits, developed over time, have become the bedrock of his daily productivity. Another illustration is a renowned musician. Her daily practice, a habit ingrained since childhood, has been the key to her mastery and success. Despite fame and accolades, she adheres to this routine, understanding that her habits are the pillars supporting her artistic excellence. Positive habits extend beyond personal productivity. They encompass all aspects of our lives. Healthy eating, regular exercise, quality time with loved ones, continuous learning. All these can be cultivated into habits that enhance our well-being and enrich our lives. However, the formation of positive habits also involves breaking free from negative ones. It's about identifying habits that hinder our growth and consciously replacing them with beneficial ones. This transformation is not easy, but it is achievable with the right strategy and mindset. As we culminate our exploration of time management and the cultivation of positive habits, let us now turn our attention to a fundamental aspect of personal and professional growth. Embracing change and overcoming challenges. This topic is integral to the narrative we have woven thus far, highlighting the necessity of adaptability and resilience in our journey toward success. Success in life and in our careers, change is inevitable. It can come in many forms, technological advancements, shifts in market dynamics, personal transitions, or even global events. How we respond to these changes, how we adapt and overcome the challenges they present, is what truly defines our path to success. The first step in embracing change is to cultivate a mindset of flexibility and openness, 
It involves seeing change not as a barrier, but as an opportunity for growth and innovation. This mindset allows us to navigate through uncertainties with a positive attitude, turning potential setbacks into stepping stones. Consider the story of a tech entrepreneur whose business faced obsolescence due to rapid technological changes. Instead of resisting, he embraced the change, realigned his business strategy, invested in new technologies, and retrained his team. This adaptability not only saved his business, but propelled it to new heights, outpacing competitors who clung to outdated methods. Another aspect of embracing change is resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks. Challenges, both personal and professional, are an integral part of our journey. They test our resolve and our capacity to endure. Resilience is about facing these challenges head-on, learning from them, and emerging stronger. Take for instance a renowned athlete who suffered a career-threatening injury. Instead of succumbing to despair, she used this period to mentally prepare for her comeback, studying her sport, and strategizing her return. Her resilience not only led to a successful recovery, but also to a triumphant return to her sport, breaking records and setting new standards and overcoming challenges. The role of continuous learning and adaptation cannot be overstated. Every challenge presents a learning opportunity, a chance to refine our strategies and develop new skills. By adopting a learner's mindset, we transform challenges into valuable experiences that contribute to our growth and development. Furthermore, overcoming challenges often involves seeking support and collaboration. No journey to success is a solitary endeavor. It's about building networks, seeking mentorship, and collaborating with others. Through these interactions, we gain new perspectives, insights, and the support necessary to navigate through difficult times. As we draw the curtains on our enlightening journey together, it's time to weave together the threads of wisdom we've gathered. We embarked on this exploration with a promise that these insights could save years of our lives, gearing us towards a path of fulfillment and success. And now, as we stand at the conclusion, let's reflect on the powerful concepts we've embraced and the narrative we've created. We began by understanding the transformative power of 30 minutes, recognizing that small consistent efforts can lead to monumental changes. Time, our most precious resource, requires strategic management and effective utilization. We learned the art of prioritizing, discerning between the urgent and the important, and the value of saying no to focus on what truly matters. The essence of goal setting and clarity was our next milestone. We realized that clear, precise goals are the beacon that guides our journey, shaping every decision and action. We explored how strategic planning acts as a blueprint, transforming our vision into actionable steps, and how discipline and consistency are the engines that drive us towards our destination. Our voyage then led us to the shores of continuous learning and adaptation, where we acknowledge that in a world of constant change, our growth lies in our adaptability and our hunger for knowledge. We delved into effective time management, understanding that balancing our professional commitments with personal well-being is crucial for holistic success. We then ventured into the realm of positive habits, recognizing that the routines we establish shape our destinies. We learned that by cultivating positive habits and breaking free from negative ones, we align our daily actions with our long-term aspirations. Embracing change and overcoming challenges was our next chapter where we realize that the true test of our character and our success lies in our resilience and flexibility. Challenges are not roadblocks but stepping stones, opportunities for growth and learning. Now, as we conclude, let's remember that the journey to success is not a solitary one. It is enriched by the people we meet, the relationships we nurture, and the communities we build. It's about sharing our knowledge, lifting others as we climb, and leaving a legacy that transcends our individual achievements. In these moments we've spent together, we've not just shared concepts and strategies, we've shared a vision of what can be achieved with focus, discipline, and perseverance. As you step forward from here, carry these lessons as tools, as companions on your journey. Remember, the path to success is rarely straight, it is a winding road filled with ups and downs. But with the principles we've discussed, you are well equipped to navigate this terrain, to seize each day as an opportunity to apply these lessons, to grow a little more, and to move one step closer to your goals.